Welcome to One Minute Theatre Reviews. I'm Paul Seven Lewis. This is the Menier Chocolate Factory Theatre, and I'm here to see the Watsons. So we find ourselves looking at a dramatisation of a Jane Austen novel. So far, so good. But this is an unfinished novel, and at a certain point, they run out of plot, and the author who's trying to complete this uh, novel appears on the stage and interacts with the characters but the characters want to take over and do it their way and it leads to a lot of fun it has to be said a lot of fun indeed but also um, very interesting discourse about artistic creation about characters and as all really being characters of creations of a sort uh, in the end uh, very enjoyable evening and I give it four stars that was my one minute review Keep watching for more of my thoughts on The Watsons by Laura Wade at the Menier Chocolate Factory Theatre. The Watsons starts as a fairly conventional adaptation of a Jane Austen story with a lovely white set by Ben Stones. Emma needs a husband and the question is which of the three contenders will she end up hitched to? Will she marry for love or for money? But this is an unfinished novel so you reach a point where the plot runs out and suddenly the author of the play steps in to prevent it going in an unintended direction and from then on it's mayhem all the way. At first it's a conversation between the playwright Laura uh, played by Louise Ford with a wonderful combination of determination and exasperation and the lead character Emma who's played by Grace Maloney and totally believable as a typically intelligent, witty uh, Jane Austen heroine, who in this case takes the opportunity to metaphorically rip off her stays. Soon, all the other characters are involved. Laura has a clear idea of how the story should develop, but these are not her characters, they're Jane Austen's, and they have their own ideas. And so we enter into an exploration of the creative process. Well, many authors have talked about how characters take on a life of their own, begin to dictate the plot and this happens in front of our eyes. It's quite mind-blowing um, as we enter into questions of free will uh, like God's creations or in this case those of a godlike author or in fact any of us there's always this question of how much we are in charge of our destinies and how much our character seals our fate and then when the characters take charge anarchy reigns and people behave out of character or perhaps how they would behave without the restraints of society's rules, or in this case, the society created by the author. It's partly an argument about whether you should conform or be true to yourself. Uh, but when they put it to a vote, there's also a cheeky Brexit type question of whether people should have a say when they don't have all the information. There are so many layers to this play, and it touches on so many aspects of uh, artistic creation and of women's experience. And of course, the author, even though she's called Laura, is a character herself created by the actual playwright, Laura Wade. And it is a triumph for Laura Wade, especially coming after her brilliant Home I'm Darling. Directed by her husband Samuel West with a lightness of touch, this production makes the most of every opportunity for humour. There's a wonderful moment um, at the time when the characters first discover that they're in a play and they're still coming to terms with it, when Laura steps through the fourth wall. As one, they gasp and sway backwards. You also realise that the significance of the white set is probably that the author hasn't filled in the details. There was the odd moment when I felt the author's examination of her own situation went on a, a, a bit too long, but this is a clever, funny, exhilarating play, and I give the Watsons four stars. I hope you've enjoyed watching this review of The Watsons and if you want to be the first to hear about my next review please subscribe on YouTube to One Minute Theatre Reviews and you can read my reviews at my website oneminutetheatrereviews.co.uk. Thank you for watching.